It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And the spotlight is on these Chiefs, reigning league MVP. No one's been busier this season as he currently paces the NFL in receptions. It's the Chiefs and the Colts on Sunday night primetime. These folks in the Circle City, they love their Colts, and they have packed the house tonight as we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for... The Chiefs offense in the midst of a perfect season. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Stevens. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Now you figure that he'll probably be a big factor in this one as well. No question about it, partner. We just saw it right there. They want to get him the ball in space and see what he can do after the catch. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And Charles, if you think about this offense, it's kind of a tricky time of the season because you're 14-0 see this one out to the end, but you start to run into situations where guys are getting a little banged up. Maybe could use some time sharing, some time on the bench just to rest. How do you approach the rest of this regular season? I'm telling you, you don't ask the easy stuff, do you? I mean, you created a heck of a situation there, and actually, you didn't create it. You presented it, and you're exactly right. It is tricky, because your eye has to be on the ultimate prize, which is the Super Bowl. That's paramount. But at the same time, how much fun would it be to go down as one of the all-time great teams and join the 1972 Dolphins as the only undefeated team to win a Super Bowl? So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Stevens. Touchdown! A 20-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do, because to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. A beautiful thing. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field. And they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Less than a minute to go in an entertaining first quarter of play. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. 
That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Now a second down throw from the end zone, but it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They go play action. Now Mahomes looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, and I think when you're talking about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I was so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. Mahomes now on first down. And that nearly intercepted. But the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He finds his man complete. That's Stevens. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap. And now here comes Kansas City. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. What a first half he's putting together. He's over 200 yards receiving already, and he has a first down there. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 6-9-9. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's Stevens. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. A great play there way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Chiefs have taken the lead week after week Charles when we see this offense operate I don't know they just seem to get more impressive they certainly do and let's face it it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring this team designs things well and executes even better and here it only takes a few snaps before they're in. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. They approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. The incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incomplete. 
Congratulations, receiver. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. First down, Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey with career touchdown number 91. He joins a group that includes Tony Dorsett and Isaac Bruce, among others. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. The Chiefs offense set to go. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And that went too wide and incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. But the other day they told us, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert, and I guess every team was. KC's offense ready to take over. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? The way with the four-minute offense is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's Mahomes to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll take this up close to midfield. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, here's Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step or step down and give them man coverage and make a ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in a position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 24-yard line. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Mahomes to throw on second down. Got a man on the middle, and it's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Ridiculous, take it out. 
Pacheco. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So the rushing touchdowns continue to stack up, CD. That now 15 for him on the year. And give him a ton of credit for staying healthy, being a smart runner, and it's showing just how important he's been to his team. He's got to be their MVP at this point in the season, and those votes may even turn into league MVP votes when it's all said and done. in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in.